Hey guys, what's up? Freaking Finder Shane here doing another video. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 figures that I own. Uh, you might not agree with me. Uh, if you don't agree and you want to leave uh, any kind of comments, you know, let me know. I'd be glad to take it into consideration. You know, if you give me a pretty good argument, then, <clears throat> you know, I'll think it over. But these are just from my perspective, you know, from what I like figure wise. I tried to be as least biased as possible, but you know, it's kind of difficult sometimes when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, like I say, just uh, let me know what you think, and we'll start with number 10, which is the DC Comics Unlimited Aquaman figure. I'm a pretty big Aquaman fan. Most people don't like him, but I'm a pretty big, big Aquaman fan. And you know, I take pack the packaging into consideration as well, not just the figure. So. There he is, you know, the cool artwork on the side there, which is pretty much the same as the artwork on the other one for Total Heroes. But the back looks pretty cool. I like the packaging a lot. You know, there's the bio there. Uh, shows the other two figure, two of the other figures. And then a little bit more down there. Tell us about him. Uh, overall, I really like this figure. I like the... Uh, scaly look you know I like the uniform or the costume I should say how they did it I love the trident it looks really good really detailed uh, you know overall I just thought this was a great figure he was one of my favorite ones in this <clears throat> in this line of figures it's unfortunate they got cancelled because I thought the detail was extremely good it's just maybe their choice of um, people to make into figures were pretty bad like the, all the Batmans you don't need 15 or 16 Batmans <laughs> But we'll move on to number nine, which is the Walmart exclusive Avengers Hulk figure. Uh, I really liked this figure a whole lot. And, you know, the new Ultimate Green Goblin is in the same sculpt. But, you know, there he is. I, I love the ripped, you know, pants here. Uh, I love the picture down here, how it says movie series there and Hulk under it. You know, it comes with a base to stand him on. Of course, that doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> says Avengers and has a logo up top there in the back of it's really cool it shows you how you know you can stand him on the base and you know I think all the bases connect if I'm not mistaken for all of them and they can all kind of stand together which I thought was really cool <clears throat> uh, there's a little thing there uh, it shows the other five which is Iron Man Hawkeye Captain America Loki and Thor and, you know, Hulk was just my favorite one. Uh, these are really difficult figures to find, so I'm really glad I found them. I actually just found, actually found four of them at first, and I only seen them at two different Walmarts, and the other Walmart I seen them at had the other two, which was Hulk and uh, Hawkeye. So, you know, I really liked, I really liked these figures a lot. Uh, but out of the series, this one was my favorite, and I didn't think any of the other ones really beat out any of the other figures I have chosen for this countdown so we'll move on here to number eight which is the new marvel legends infinite series ultimate beetle from the amazing spider-man 2 wave it's called deadliest foes the other one you can get is boomerang uh up top it says i'm able to defeat spider-man alone the most fiendish villains unite to battle the wall crawler it shows all the other figures down there. I don't know what it is about this new packaging. It's kind of like the Black Series. I mean, it's not really like the Black Series, just kind of smaller packaging. But I really like it, and I loved this figure. I don't know too much about Ultimate Beetle, but... I mean, it's just a cool figure. You see the blasters on his arms there. The paint applications are great. It's got the cool side pictures here on the... Uh, packaging up top it has the spider-man a symbol there and then you know the back's really cool but I can't wait to get Electro and uh, Superior Spider-Man but also you know coming in this wave is Spider-Woman or Spider-Woman Spider-Girl Boomerang and Toxin which I'm excited about Toxin especially you can see them down there the rest coming and those are the variant ones, and they actually are coming. It looks like they might be coming to just Kmart specifically. Um, they're the only website that's been listed. There are some that have shown up on eBay, just from you know people getting them when they're first made. But 
Uh, I mean, this is pretty cool figure, I think, overall. So That was number eight. We'll move on to number seven here. Number seven is my future foundation, Spider-Man. Uh, I just, I love this figure. I don't know. I didn't like big time Spider-Man. Uh, they did a really bad job on him. You see him up in the corner there. Um, I seen, <clears throat> I liked him until I seen a review of him open, and it was, I mean, his back was painted horribly, and it's just, it's just a bad, bad figure. But, I like over to the side here how it can, it shows the pictures, you know, this is typical Marvel Legends, uh, packaging from, you know, the past couple of years. Uh, on the back, of course, it shows Big Time Spider-Man, since this one's a variant. Um, you know, there's all the figures in the wave think that picture is really cool I wish the figure would have turned out a little more like that but he's got green shading all around him and it's just instead of black here and I just I didn't like it I thought it was a really <clears throat> really bad figure once I looked at it but I figured I'd pick him up to have the variant one but overall as you can see great figure great paint apps you know even though he's just white and black those are two of my favorite colors together uh, but just a just a great figure so Move on here to number six. Star Wars the Black Series, Darth Maul. You know, they had to be in here somewhere. Uh, great figures. I love the packaging. I remember when I first found these figures, I uh, I walked over and, and I was just looking for, you know, huge packaging because that's what it looked like in the pictures. And I found this little bitty package that he's in. And I just, I loved this packaging. I thought they were going to be like the size of Marvel Selects almost, but they weren't, so that's great. Um, there is a picture of Darth Maul. There's also the same picture up top there. Um, <clears throat> says he's number two in the series. I love that he comes with the interchangeable head. Where you can see the kind of spikes on the head in his head or whatever. All the accessories. I love the double-sided lightsaber. It's my favorite lightsaber besides maybe Mace Windu's purple. <clears throat> Can't wait for Mace Windu in this wave. I hope they don't get this wave does not get canceled. But his jacket's really cool. Uh, all of his paint apps are great. I thought they did a great job. The backs of them are awesome. It has like a etching of a picture of him, you know, uh, battling Obi Wan and Qui Gon. And then back there it says all that. This is, like I say, is number two in the wave. I like the orange line down the side, and I just thought it was a great figure. So Now we'll move on to number five, which a lot of people might not agree with my top five, but I did my best. I kind of got a little bit biased, but we'll start with the Boba Fett figure. Uh, great figure. I mean, there's not much you can say about this one. It's, it just, it's, it's a great figure. The paint applications are amazing. He comes with a lot of accessories. His jetpack, I think, is there. Uh, and two different guns. One's like a sniper rifle thing. And, I mean, it's just it's just a great figure. Uh, all the spots, you know, the paint is great. He's number six. Has a picture up there, just like the other one. And on the top here as well. On the back, it has a really cool photo there of him. And then up top is the little thing there and then of course the same packaging really nice packaging uh, but I, I just really liked this figure I was actually really surprised to find him found two of them at Target on the same day just kind of thrown in there pick one up for me and my friend uh, you know they're just I mean they're great great figures I haven't seen one since that day so time for number four one of my and this might be a little biased he's one of my favorite superheroes is uh, Shazam a lot of people don't like Shazam, but I love Shazam. I mean, this is just a, an excellent figure. They do such a good job on these DC Collectibles figures, and this is the Justice League series. Uh, down here it says Shazam action figure. I like this packaging, and at the same time, I don't like it. I hate these things when they put them at the top. They like the DC, uh, like the DC, those things that just hang. They like the DC, uh, Comics Unlimited ones. They, uh, they bend easy. And it's a little frustrating. Also, a little paint comes off the packaging here. But, I mean, it's a really cool picture down the side. It's kind of hard to see there. But, of Shazam. And then on the other side, you've got him again. It says who uh, did the art and who sculpted this figure. And then the back's really cool. It has, you know, basically anyone else you can own. Including that, like, seven pack down there. 
uh, in a three pack. Uh, but I mean, these new 52 figures are great, and this this costume he's in is just amazing. I I think that they outdid themselves with this figure. That's my personal opinion. But we'll move on to number three. Is another DC Comics Unlimited figure. It's the Flash figure. I'm a huge Flash fan, and I just absolutely loved this figure. All the, you know, light, almost like lightning coming off of him where he's, you know, to show that he's running fast. I feel like this figure could pose really good. The awesome picture down the side there. You know, and this is what I'm talking about. These bent really easily. And, you know, that's a little frustrating to me. But he didn't bend too bad. And it says the flash there. And then on the back, see he bent a little there. But on the back he has this just awesome photo <clears throat> Hawkman, Superman with the other two that came with him. There's the little thing about him, and there's another little thing about him. But, I mean, overall, this figure, definitely, I thought it deserved a spot in my top five of my figures. You know, I don't have any of the expensive, expensive figures like most people. Basically, the most expensive I've went is, like, Future Foundation and SH Figure Arts. I don't do any Hot Toys or anything. I can't afford all those. But, I mean, overall, this is just, I just thought this was a great figure, so... Move on to number two, and you all should probably know what two and one are if you've watched any of my recent videos. Number two is Carnage from the new Spider Man Amazing Spider Man 2 line. Spawn of Symbiotes. There's Carnage. This is the best Carnage by far they've ever done. Uh, really cool Carnage. Uh, I know this back piece of the like tentacle looking things come off, but the ones on his legs and arms, they don't come off, but they're different on all the sides. They don't look just the same. He's got the same thing up top as Beetle, the same picture on the side, and then on the back there is that sweet Toxin figure. I'm excited for him, but I don't think he'll be better than Carnage. Same thing at the bottom here, build your ultimate Green Goblin. Then up top there it says Destruction and Mayhem have a new home, living in the body of the demented Eddie Brock will <clears throat> the vicious Toxin out savage the chaos causing Carnage. So, I mean, this is just... I, just, I love this figure. I've always been a huge fan of Carnage. I've always not understood, you know, why they never put him in a movie. But, I mean, I guess you got to do Venom first, which is hopefully what they're doing with this new Venom movie coming out. I'm hoping they are maybe going to eventually throw in Carnage here soon. I feel like with the figure with the figure here, they are going to. But we'll see. Uh, but that's my number two. And last but not least, number one. A little bit of a shorter figure here. Let me get move the camera off this big stand. Put a different stand under it here. It is the SH Figure Arts White Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <clears throat> I just ordered the Red Ranger, so I'll be doing a review on him next weekend probably. Like I say, my videos are mostly going to come on the weekends. I don't really have time to do them during the week. But down the side it says White Ranger. Awesome picture over here. I mean, great, great figure. I mean, it was worth the $40 I had to pay for it. And, you know, it's got the sweet uh, accessories with it. It's got a pair of hands back behind the thing here. You can't really see them. Up top it says White Ranger again. Really cool like, gold packaging all around. Celebrating 20 years. Some cool poses on the back here. That SH Figure Arts has given us a lot of different... Uh, things about the figure um i mean just just look at this packaging i mean it's just i love just the little this just the regular box packaging like this just the little square package that i hate i don't really care much for the ones that have the things up top like i was talking about for flash and shazam but i mean this is this is overall my favorite figure i have right now uh this one and carnage were pretty close together but i had to go with this one you know Tamashi Nations, I be or I believe is the name. Uh, you know, they've outdone themselves with these figures. I think that they are just great. I don't really care for a lot of their figures. Not just because I don't really know any of them. But these and the Dragon Ball Z ones are ones I would love to have. At this point, Dragon Ball Z, I started collecting a little too late. They're a little too expensive. But there's some coming out in the future I might pick up. As well as the Krillin figure that just came out. Or is still pretty cheap, so... But that's uh, my top 10 figures, you know, let me know what you think, uh, um, you know, just give a little feedback if you want, 
tell me what you think should have been in this and uh, if you disagree with any of my choices I'd be glad to hear you know your feedback uh, subscribe like the video please um, and let me know uh, what you guys want to see because it's important to me to know what you all want to see but uh, here are all the figures one more time and thank you all for watching